Hey, it's Blast Miner Dad. And Fritz Builder. And we're the father and son. Minecraft build team. And so it's been a week since we made a video, but we've been working really hard on Minecraft, right, Fritz? Mm -hmm. So we've been playing survival. We've been playing survival on our world and um, Cammy's world. And uh, I wanted to show um, Fritz a few things. And, uh, and so I guess this is a how-to video, right? Something mm -hmm. like a how-to video? Yep. But then we're going to uh, start playing on a survival world. So I have a survival world that I had worked on way many years ago. Uh, Even right, before Fritz? we moved into this nice new house. Yeah. And so when I was playing with this one, and um, it, it was an old uh, world, but I wanted to do the new biomes. But when you load it in the new version it gives you the new biomes right fritz mm -hmm. so we want to try to be able to find them but when you're running around in minecraft uh trying to find your biomes it takes forever for it to you know find them right mm -hmm. and it takes a long time to like fly around your world and you know and such so what i've done is i've got a couple programs that i like to use um and the first one is this amist program and I like this one. It's pretty nice. Let's see. It comes up with uh, your Minecraft versions. And so we're going to pick um, this one. It takes a second here to figure out which one it is. And, uh, and then it's just like a 2D map. But it'll show us where all the villages are and um, where all the cool stuff is. So here, it's come up, coming up here. And we're going to open it up. And it's this, the creative is our server world, right, Fritz? So mm -hmm. it's the survival one. And I say, okay. And so this shows us where we are right here, right? Mm -hmm. This is me and Fritz. And um, uh, you know what? I think this is one I didn't have, um, like I, I didn't have a, an account because I played this a long time ago, but this is our spawn. And so if you keep zooming out, I'm zooming out with the mouse wheel. And so these are the new biomes, the desert hills. Uh, and then there's a mushroom island down here. So what we wanted to do is, was write down um, what... Um, oh, and it gives you the seed. So it shows you the seed on it as well. So that's actually the seed, Fritz, if you wanted to make the world. Uh, so what we want to do is uh, I'm going to make a little text file here. Um, to put the spawn, uh, well, put the coordinates of where we wanted to go because this isn't actually even generated yet in the world. Um, so we have to actually, you know, fly around there in the world. So let's see, this is... Oh, and also write down okay. the seed. Ma write down the seed, so... Well, we don't need the seed. We just open it in this. I mean, we don't yeah, need but it. I, I want the seed. Just write down the seed so I know what seed it is. So uh -huh. I know what the numbers are. Okay, so remember this. Negative... One five three four, and two five four nine. That's the mushroom mile. And then there's a bunch of desert and desert hills. Let's see, around two thousand, negative two thousand, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, we could we could just well what we could do is write that down on like a note, like yeah. actual note. And you could move your spawn in here, but I didn't really want to do that. So, uh, and as a village, there is a village right here. Right now, and it's even next to and a. Um, I, I guess I must uh, have missed it because I mean uh -huh. I've been all around this area. So this is at six thirty seven two oh five. And and do the and do the um stronghold. Well, that's right next to it. I mean, we should be able to find it. It's like right there. Zoom, zoom in, and it's going to get farther, see? Yeah, but it's only like 30 blocks away. All right. So we got that world done. So this is a cool... I like this this system. And there's another program that I'm actually on the... Uh, I maintain... Well, not maintain it, but I'm one of the um, contributors on this program. So I'm helping with the coding with it. And this is called the eHort program, and it's a very fast way to um, go through a map. And we like using this program because it just generates so quickly. So this is the actual map that we were looking at, but you can 
you know, fly through things and look how quickly it generates the um, texture. So it, it just runs a thousand times faster than like doing Minecraft if you wanted to actually look at your, you know, builds and look at things very extreme distances. Right, Fritz? Mm -hmm. So this is actually that survival world we were working on and, and this was my little castle I had made and I was doing a little strip mine right there, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, and we were working, Fritz and I, well, Fritz was using some cheats obviously for his little building, but I was making some farms and, and things. I, and I made the sugar cane farm. made the sugar cane farm. So the other stuff is way... The, that was going to yeah. be my spot, but... And I, I like this. This looks kind of like Britain here. I love this. Uh, how this one, this one biome just got like sheared. It got cut, right? It, it kind of looks like an earthquake. Yeah. If something happened. Like just the place just went. Yeah. Like and there's like lava coming out of it and all that. But I, I just love this program. But see, this is where when you when you fall off the edge here, this is where you haven't run Minecraft and actually generated the the all the blocks yet. Uh, but you can use this to fly around and And you um, can also go underground things. too. Show yeah. them dead. Just show them. Yeah, you can well let's let's see what we could do here. Let's go to some options. So let's say let's look at I'll find some diamond. What do you when you find diamond? Mm-hmm. Alright. So Whoa. So these these are all where the diamond blocks are, so you can look um in here to see okay where's the diamond and uh let's see let's look for rails that's going to show up especially anything that's like a mine shaft, a mine shaft. so here's some mine shafts over here and then you could say well, okay where were this was this stuff but see the if there's a cave in here see these some of these really dark caves there's no lighting in it so it doesn't show you the what's going on but in these there's some lighting so you can see them and then you can fly up and say, well, it's, you know, directly underneath here. So that's how I found, um, I knew that there was a, uh, there is, yeah, I made a shaft down here to try to, and I died a few hundred times down in this. Well, I uh, turned off monsters and now you can go in there. So yeah, we but you can find, you know, ores and different things by, by doing this. And it's really nice. And, and plus I was really frustrated at the time when I was playing this game because um, I couldn't find like any ore at all, you know, and it's like, look how Whoa. much coal there is, you know, I mean, there's just gobs and gobs. When you really look at how much ore gets spawned in Minecraft, it's just, it, it's a, it's so much, but it seems like it takes you forever to mine it, but mm -hmm. it's just so much. I mean, there's like every other block has got to be a coal or an iron, but you know, you feel like, oh, I'm mining all day and I don't, you know, see anything, but you'll do these things Well, you know, you, you mine a shaft and then look, see, there's, there's ore right, right next to it. And I didn't notice, see, mm. right off the surface right here, there's a big deposit of iron and, uh, and you can't, you know, it's adjacent. So you can't see it from that shaft, right? So you could, you know, mine forever and just magically miss something. Uh, let's see how far, you know, okay, well, let's look. Let's see, the village was at 637.205. So let's see if we can go 637, see if it even generated that far. I don't think we have. This must be much bigger on that other one than it was. Yeah, see, we haven't even gone there. So th this is, you know, our world is much bigger, so we're early on a giant continent on this uh, yeah. on this map, Fritz. So here we can open this other program. It's really huge. It's a huge continent that we've got sat on on this on this world. Um, but anyway, I think what we're gonna do today, Fritz, is that you wanted to work on the survival a little bit with me, mm -hmm. and maybe um, you know what would be kind of cool is. Um, is if we make some rails and you know we could use creative to uh, make some rails to go to these interesting places mm -hmm. but then I really wanted to use you know creative on this one because that's what I mean not creative the um, survival because mm -hmm. that's what we were doing with that right mm -hmm. but maybe you know make some uh, rails to get to these interesting places and then once we have some rails and things then we can um, play with it what do you think mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so we've got off today. Today's Martin Luther King Day, right, Fritz? Yep. Uh, let's see, survival. And yeah, so this is a this mu- we're so this is the six, this is where we were trying to get to with that. So this must be a humongous um, island. You know, I don't even see the desert biome that was next to us. I mean, there was a do- a desert biome like not that far, and I don't see it on here. I don't know why that is. Because I certainly don't see it on here. Maybe it, it's too small and doesn't show up. Yeah, it's probably too small. Let's see. Because these are, I guess, mini biomes. Because this is where we are at here. Look at that. It's just... That just looks cool, right, Dan? Mm-hmm. It's like the world. You like well, my castle where I put my castle on mm-hmm. that hill there? It, it's like the world. The and this world, was my old my old house was right there. The world missed misgenerated that spot because mm-hmm. it was supposed to be a hill. See, Dad? Yeah. But it misgenerated it. Yeah. Well, you, you know, when it says, okay, this is going to be a Extreme Hills and then this is going to be, you know, swamp, uh, swamp land and it just kind of gets stuck in there. So, all right, well, I guess this is the end of this little tutorial video, right, Fritz? Mm-hmm. And, uh, and let's see, for the eHort, um, if you Google search eHort, you should come up with the page. And this, it is running for 1.7, but we've yet, I think, to actually push the uh, update out. Uh, so there's a couple more files you'd have to download to, to get it to work. Um, but if you ask questions on the code source, I'm one of the people that answer the questions so um so anyway i guess we'll we're gonna go ahead and make just, some just other videos that. right look at that that just looks weird does that look weird i like it it looks cool it, like you can like make something right off the edge i know you know oh look there's some there's some coal yeah well all right we'll see you later right fritz bye oh, that was, that's it, too cool. <laughs>